Bonjour and happy French Friday to you. Last week we worked on decorating the mantle here behind me for Valentine's Day. We're just going to continue on decorating for Valentine's Day today in my dining room. So please join me. Okay friends, this is what we will be working on today. We are going to be decorating this tree for Valentine's Day. And I have already put it in this copper pot and it fit down in there perfectly. So I was really happy about that. We also have some little Valentine DIY projects to do before we start decorating the tree. So we're gonna be working on a few things. And I don't know, let me know, what do you guys think? Do you think the green tree is okay to decorate for Valentine's Day or should I be using a white tree or um, I would really love to have like a gold um, or like a kind of a champagne kind of a um, tree. I don't know, but let me know what you think. Um, I hope this is going to work out okay uh, for my Valentine's tree this year. So let me know though what you think about that. And um, let's go ahead and get started with a couple of DIYs that I have. Okay, so for this first DIY project, I will be using these ornaments from the Dollar Tree store. They are uh, wood, uh, heart-shaped ornaments, and you get five in a package. I bought two packages of those, and what I typically would do to these ornaments is just to paint them, but I wanted to do something different um, this time, and so I thought I would um, trace out on my fabric um, this the heart shape and then cut it out and then um, attach the fabric with this spray adhesive um, general purpose uh, glue here and so that's what we will be doing and you can use whatever kind of fabric you have on hand and I had, uh, this was fabric that I had, and as well as this fabric here. And then this one was just a tea towel. So you can use whatever you have. And um, they come with the little jute rope um, inside the package. So that comes with the ornaments. And I actually um, cut out fabric to do both sides, but you wouldn't have to. You could always just paint the one side and then just put fabric on one side if you wanted to and then you can um, doll them up however you want I did put a little bit of ribbon on here I glued that down and then also glued down a little button so um, just kind of um, add add whatever embellishments you would like and then um, for cutting the hole I use this um, this all tool I think I'm saying that right and I picked this up at Walmart. It's really inexpensive. And so um, it was nice to um, poke the hole through the fabric and everything um, to make the hole there to, to bring the jute rope through. So that worked out nicely. And um, I have another project that I wanna use that for. So I picked that up and so yeah, we will be making more of these hearts. I just did these three off camera so I could show you what we'll be making. And so we're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the hearts that we need finished. And um, then we have a, one more DIY after that uh, to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started on these. I forgot to mention, if you don't have one of these tools, you can always use like an ice pick or like a meat thermometer or whatever you have, any kind of like sharp tool you might have at home to you, so just wanted to mention that real quick.
Okay, for our next project, we are going to be giving this heart ornament a little makeover. I bought these at, let's see, I bought seven of them at Walmart. I bought an odd number, because I like to do things in odd numbers. And uh, they were $2.48 each. And they're actually calling it a Mardi Gras ornament. But I thought how perfect this would be for Valentine, since it is a shape of a heart. And uh, we can make it more appropriate uh, for Valentine's Day by painting over the purple color here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It has that purple glitter and then these really pretty uh, beads on top. So what we're going to do is paint all of it uh, in this red color paint, this craft paint that I picked up for a dollar. And then just on top of the beaded part, I wanna make that beaded part stand out and look a little pretty with this metallic antique gold paint. So we're just going to slightly go over the beads after the red paint has dried and uh, just so we'll have a little bit of a uh, gold uh, shine to that um, beaded part there. So I think it's going to look really pretty uh, on the tree when, when they're all done. I did six of them off camera already uh, just for time purposes and also so I could show you what they will look like when they're done. So here it is one that is finished already, ready to go and hang on the tree. And I think it turned out really pretty. And I just set them in this mug here to dry. So I will do that with this one once uh, we've already painted it. So let's go ahead and get started on this little project. Okay, so the first thing I've added here to my tree is this black and white buffalo checked fleece soft um, fabric that I already had. So I just wrapped it around the bottom inside of this copper metal tub here. And then I went ahead and added this red burlap ribbon and I just wrapped that around the tree and that's just from the Dollar Tree store. And then I added this heart up here, and that's from the Dollar Tree store this year. And I just tied on the bow, the black and white gingham checked bow, to the heart there that I just put on the top there because it had a little ribbon. And I just hung that over the top of my tree. So I'm liking how it looks so far. And we're going to go ahead and start adding the ornaments to our tree now. I do like that this tree is uh, a skinny, uh, slim tree, so it fits really nicely here in the corner without taking up a lot of space. And it is a six foot tree, because I forgot to mention that earlier. So now we will go ahead and start adding uh, our ornaments to the tree. Okay, so the first thing I will be adding are probably these wings here. Now these are a Christmas ornament that I bought. Uh, I bought all of these from the Dollar Tree store and I've had these for a little while now, but I saw them again there this year. So 
I know they had them there this year as well, but anyways, they are a Christmas ornament, but I think they'll look really pretty on my Valentine's tree because I will tie in with the cherub on my mantle. And uh, let me show you that. So I have my cherub there on the mantle, so I thought it'd be neat to add some of these wings to the tree and as well as these cherubs that I already had and I think these will be really cute on the tree and will tie in with the cherub that I have on my mantle for Valentine's so um, I think this will be really cute um, to add these. I see these all the time at the thrift store and now I'm kicking myself I didn't pick up the ones that I've seen there uh, because I wasn't thinking how cute they would be on a Valentine's tree. So um, I, I see them all the time though and I wish I would have picked up uh, more of these. But I just have these two and so I'm going to use what I have for now and then if I can find some more, uh, I will just add to my tree uh, later on. So we will add the wings and the cherubs and then we also have our hearts to add, our heart ornaments. And um, I also picked up some hearts at Ross. Let me grab those so I can show you what those look like. Okay, I picked up these hearts at Ross, like I said, for $4.99. And they're on this, like, jute um, twine, like jute rope. Um, and there is uh, gold, silver, and copper. All the way at the bottom is the copper one. And it's just kind of on this long. Uh, I thought maybe I could use this like a garland. Or I could uh, cut uh, cut the, the jute rope here and, um, and just tie them on and make them like ornaments. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Um... Having a hard time deciding, but I did get, I picked up two of these, so we will also be adding those hearts to our, our Valentine tree, and I think they're really pretty, and then they also tie in really nicely with my metal hearts up here that are in the silver, copper, and gold, so I think they'll look really pretty on the tree, so I'll be adding those as well.
Okay, friends, so obviously it's the next day. It's light outside. I wanted to give you a view of it while it was light out as well because yesterday it was just a really dark and gloomy day outside and then it got really dark as the day went on as I was working on my projects, my DIY projects here. So I think they turned out really nice. I'm really happy with how these turned out and I just love the gold mercury glass on here that look I just think that is really pretty and then I love how our little hearts turned out as well with the fabric and like I said you could use whatever fabric you'd like for these and I love this twall fabric I picked that up at Walmart and then our metal hearts I really love those too I think those are nice. I just uh, tied them in a knot here so that I cut them off of the long strand and then tied them in the knot so that uh, I could hang those as ornaments on the tree. And then I found some things in my Valentine stash that I forgot I had. And so I hung that up there and my sister had given me some things um, that she had gotten from Michael's on those uh, $4 grab bag deals that they have there. And I always miss out on those. I never know when they're having that, when that's going on. So I seem to always miss that. But she was so sweet uh, to give me some things that she wasn't going to use. And I think that looks really cute. So I hung that there. And I've got some other things that I found in my Valentine stash that she had given me last year and I'd actually forgotten about it. So I was very excited when I opened up my Valentine stash and saw those things that I had forgotten about. It was like, like Christmas again. And uh, I want to share those things with you and I'm going to actually probably be redoing the tree topper because I found something else in the stash that I wanted to uh, put up there. So I'm going to show share that with you as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. I found this in my stash. I should have really went through my stash before I started making this video, right? But uh, anyways, I found this, so luckily it was before I ended the video because I do want to change that out for this one. I think that'll be really pretty with the red roses. And my sister, like I said, had gotten this in a Michael's uh, $4 grab bag. And let's see, so originally it was 12 for this little uh, Valentine wreath. And this was last year after they had went on sale. And then she had gotten this heart as well. And that was originally $10 at Michael's. And so I'm going to be doing something with all of this stuff. And I also found these heart ornaments that I totally forgot that were in my stash. I totally forgot about these guys. And so I think what I'm going to have to do is do another tree. A Valentine tree in a different room so I may be doing one in my office or somewhere in my home maybe the living room we'll see and then I also found this like vase filler hearts and so let's see originally these were uh, five dollars and then this was five dollars as well this was probably the same price, yeah. And then I found these two little hearts here. And then I also found these little angel wings, which these were a Christmas um, thing, but uh, I'm going to actually use them, I think. I'm gonna put this on the tree as well because that will go with my other wing ornaments that I have on there. And maybe I could somehow stick it in here. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm definitely gonna find a place for this on the tree. And then I found all of this ribbon that she had given me for Valentine's. So I made a really nice, um, well, I made two of them. I made two really nice bows with those. I will share with you where I put those in, on my lanterns in just a minute. 
And so I was very excited to find that because I did want to make some Valentine looking bows for my for my lantern. So that worked out really nicely to have all that ribbon. So she gave me all this stuff and I'm excited. So like I was saying, I am going to probably do another tree guys. And I do have a white tree out in my Christmas stash. <laughs> And so uh, I think I will use it. The only reason I hesitated to use it for my dining room is that it is um, turned like a little bit more cream color. I think it's just from being out in the weather. Like, um, you know, it's very hot here in Southern Louisiana. So probably the heat. I mean, I've got it stored away in my garage, but I'm thinking maybe just a temperature change. I don't know. Let me know if that's happened to you guys. If you've ever had a white tree that's kind of turned more yellow, like cream color. And so I wasn't sure if I should use it. But I think I might pull it out and use these extra Valentine ornaments that I have found. And uh, do another tree somewhere around it, my home. So stay tuned for that. And... Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna switch out the tree topper and then I will show you what that looks like. Okay, I wanted to share with you where I ended up uh, putting that wreath. I just uh, switched out the other one and I'll probably use the other one on my other tree that I'm gonna do. So this one I think fits the size of this tree really nicely. And so I just put that bow on there and then I just stuck that little wings pick down inside there and that's staying there nicely. And then I really love this little sign over here too. I think that's so cute that my sister gave me. That was originally $20. And like I said, she got it in the $4 grab bag at Michael's Craft Store. So love, uh, love getting those kind of deals. And especially when it's a freebie, it's so, it was so sweet, so kind of her to, give me uh, some Valentine decor to add to my decor this year that she had gotten on sale last year. So I really appreciate that. And I wanted to share with you where I put the bows that I made. So there's, uh, I just tied it right there on top of this lantern. And I think that turned out really nice. And then the other one I put on the other side of my mantle here. Uh, on this lantern. So I think those turned out really nice. I was happy to be able to get that ribbon and just it just helps so much when you get those little freebies to be able to uh, help decorate and do more decorating because I do so much decorating. It's so nice that uh, that my sister did that. That was so sweet of her. So uh, more decorating coming guys but I will go ahead and close out this video for now and make sure you come back and see me next uh, next Friday I will be doing more decorating and getting ready for my Valentine home tour so until next time friends au revoir